Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass only door in Roblox Studio. So how the system will work is when you join into the game, the system checks if you have this Game Pass. If not, the door stays closed. But if you do have the Game Pass, you will be allowed access through this part which we are using as our door. Now we've also implemented a system where it checks every three seconds if you already have the Game Pass or you've just bought the Game Pass. So let's say you're in the game and you have a, and there is a GUI shop or Game Pass store and you go and purchase the Game Pass through the store in the game. After three seconds, the system will do a check again. And if the system detects that you have bought the Game Pass and that you own the Game Pass, you will then be allowed through the wall. So players do not have to go and leave the game after they've purchased something and are having to rejoin. This is just a great way to keep players in your game and not make them have to leave and rejoin again. So for starters, you're gonna to wanna to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. Explorer and Properties are here in the top view tab. If you click View and then click on Explorer and Properties, you should see them somewhere over your screen. Now, a lot of people have also been asking me again, how do I actually make them on the side here? Because I've seen many people have them kind of all over the screen. It's a little bit messy and you don't have as much space and vision of your actual base plate. So all you do with your Explorer, some people have their Explorer all the way over here, but what you do, you just go and customize it here in the middle. So you can see it kind of shades the area where your pro Explorer is actually gonna be. So you can see I can put it there, but that's not where I really want it. I'm wanting it over here on the right by the properties. And you just put that right there, just like that. And now you guys can see I've got it in a nice looking fashion. Now that's just so you can have more view of your Roblox base plate. So now we want to go and get our part which we are going to be using as our door. So this is going to be the VIP door. So let me move it back here. Let's go customize it a little bit. We're just going to make it very simple. Just a simple wall. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. But then we just want to make sure to go and anchor it. You can go change the color if you want. We can maybe make it a nice looking blue. I must say I quite like the pastel blue. This is probably one of my favorite colors in Roblox Studio. So you'll probably see a lot of my tutorials actually have this color used. So once we've finished customizing your part, which we're going to be using as the game pass door, we want to click on our part so it is highlighted, so we can also see the properties of the part. We then want to go over to the name and we want to change the name to game pass door, just like that. You can go and change it to anything else you would like, but depending on what you name it, you will have to change accordingly in the script which we are going to have in this video. So ideally, kind of keep it similar to what I have, just so you don't get too confused and there's no issues, but uh, feel free to go and change it to whatever you like, but for the tutorial, we are using Game Pass Door. So once you've done that, we want to head over to Start a Player, click on the down arrow, then in Start a Player Script, we want to click on the plus button, and then insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your Start a Player Scripts, we want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and paste in the new code. So I'm going to give you a quick little run through on what actually is happening here. So we're identifying on what our Game Pass ID is. So this is going to be our Game Pass ID, which our Game Pass is. Every single Game Pass has its own special ID. So yours could be 155535 or something. But um, that really depends on your Game Pass. And I'm going to show you how we can make our Game Pass and how we can get our Game Pass ID here shortly. But Game Pass ID, we're identifying on that is the number. So we want to replace that with our Game Pass ID. Then our Game Pass door. Now we are identifying on what Game Pass door equals. It's kind of like a bit of a shortcut that you can use in code. As you guys can see, if I click on this, you'll be able to see where I've actually used Game Pass door. Instead of me having to write out game.workspace. Uh, wait for child Game Pass door, I can just go and write Game Pass door because it's a little bit of a shortcut. But now, if you have gone and changed the name of your part to Ooga Booga or something or Hillary Clinton, you just want to go and change that right here where it says Game Pass Store. Because we haven't changed anything from Game Pass Store, we can go and leave it. The reason why we do a wait for child child thing here is sometimes the script can run a bit too, let's say, should we say quickly, and it can actually skip the step where it goes game.workspace dot the game pass door. What we're doing, we're slowing down the code here that it goes from the game to the workspace, then it waits and the script will not continue until it has found the part Game Pass door. This gives it time to look through the, the your, work, your workspace folders and it just a, allows it to be a much more cleaner and clearer script. We are then creating a function here where it is checking the Game Pass for the player. So we're going to game to get the service to Marketplace Service. Marketplace Service is the service which 
any item or game pass or you know thing that you can purchase is used up and then user own games pass player.user id dot game pass id so if the player dot the user id owns the game pass id just like that and that is for checking for the game pass so now over here on line eight we're also creating a new function where it goes open door for player this is the function open the door for the player and if check game pass player then so if the check game pass is true or is there then the game pass door transparency will be set to one basically meaning it is invisible then it will also adjust the can collide making it false meaning you can walk through the part so this is if you own the game pass okay now we don't have any other else things because the game pass simply won't the system simply won't do anything else if you don't already have the game pass which is up here because if you do not if the if the player does not have check game pass like that there it won't no, nothing will happen hence why we don't have any else things in here but now what we do here is we're going while true do so what we're doing here we're checking if the play, player has the game pass if the player has the game pass then the open the door for the player will happen and it, this happens every three seconds because we have added a wait time so it'll go while true do which is basically a constant loop it will never stop looping unless it's false it will go open door for player, wada wada wada, and then after it has done that, it will wait three seconds, and then it will go and do the open door for player and check if they have the game pass or not. Uh, you can go and change the wait time if you really want to. Ideally, I feel three seconds is, I would say, average and recommended because you don't want to put too much strain on your system where you go and do 0 0.01 second. You know, that can put quite a lot of strain because now that's going to have to do like nearly a hundred checks in a second if I, if, I, if I've done the math correctly yeah about a hundred checks where this is 10 checks this would be a hundred checks in a second so ideally keep it to three if you really want you could maybe do 1.5 but I would highly recommend three but that's what we're gonna leave on today's tutorial so now we want to go and create our game pass and get our game pass ID Alrighty, so you now want to go over to your main Roblox page and find your Roblox game. So this is the Roblox game we are doing it on. It is called Tutorials and this game is experience is unavailable because I haven't published the game yet. This is a new base plate which I created today, which is going to be where I'm doing the tutorials from now on. Now what we want to do, it will look something like this. What you want to do, you want to click on Store and then click on Add Pass. Then it will take you over to your creations and then you want to find your game which we're using. So that is Tutorials. And then we want to go over here on the left and we want to find associated items just like that and as you guys can see we can create badges passes and developer products here so if we click passes it'll now take us over this, to this page now some people may think oh i could just go to over to in roblox studio go to the game settings and do associated items or monetization there you cannot create game passes in the main roblox studio you have to go over to the main roblox page hence why we have done this this option what you want to do, you then want to click on create a pass and then on default, you'll set the image of your game pass to this almost like golden ticket sort of thing, golden bar. You can go and change this to whatever image you would like, but for this tutorial, we do not need to go and change the image. So I'm going to go and change the name for this tutorial, game pass door access. Maybe something like that would work well and you can add a bit of a description there. It's up to you, but it is not necessary. Once you've done that, click on create pass. And this will take us back to our associated items. Now, as you guys can see, it says off sale. That is because we have not set the game pass for sales. So we want to click back on our game pass. On here on the left, click sales. And then we want to enable item for sale so that the game pass is now for sale. Then we want to set the price of our game pass. So you could do a million, you could do a thousand, you could do 10, you could do one Robux. For this tutorial, I'm doing one Robux, just so I don't go and waste unnecessary Robux. Once I've done that, click save change save changes and then you want to click on back associated items click back on passes and then we want to click on the three dots here click copy asset id because now we are copying our game pass id now that we're back in the roblox studio base plate we want to go back to our starter player scripts and click on our local script and we want to go and change this id to the id which we just created once you've done that and you've changed the name of the game pass door right here if you did change the name you can go up here, click on the X button next to your script so that the scripts apply to the server. Then we want to head over to either, you can, it's really up to you, you can go test it in the main Roblox base plate, or you can test it right here in the play or the team test area. 
for this tutorial, I'll go and use the, actually we'll go to the main Roblox page. What we'll do, we'll go click on file and click publish to Roblox. And now we are publishing our game to Roblox. Now keep in mind, please do make sure your part is anchored because if not, it's just gonna flop all over on the ground. And that's no good if you're wanting a separate VIP area. So go and make sure your game part, uh, your part is anchored, but go click on file, publish your game to Roblox to go and test it out. As you guys can see, we are now back on the main Roblox page. Now, if we click on our store, you'll be able to store, see that our Game Pass store is right there and that we currently own it. Okay, so we own the Game Pass on default. When you create a Game Pass, you own it, so, meaning you don't have to repurchase it, um, meaning you don't lose any Robux. Anyway, so when we join into the game, we'll be able to see that the door is already open. Where it, we originally had the door, the door will not be there. But now, let's say we didn't own the Game Pass and we went and open link and tab and we went and deleted the game pass from our inventory the door will be disappeared because we don't have the game pass so for this tutorial i'm going to be deleting it from my inventory to show you an example to show you that it all does work once you've done that click on play and we can go test it out so when keep in mind when we join into the game now we will not have access to that exclusive area we will not be able to walk through the part the part will be visible meaning that we're not allowed access into the area. So as you guys can see, we're in the base plate now and the part is right here. We can't go and do anything, but if we have to go and purchase the game pass here now, let me quickly move the game pass door access game pass over here and let's get back into the base plate. As you guys can see, the door is currently closed, but if I have to go and buy this game pass again, so buy now, there you go. I'm doing this on my other monitor, by the way. But as you guys can see, I've just gone and bought the game pass. And in less than three seconds now, this door should be opening. And as you guys can see, because the system has checked, if we own the game pass, we have now been allowed access into the special area or allowed access through that part. But please do keep in mind, when you do create a game pass, you automatically own it, meaning you don't have to purchase it again. So if you join into the base player and you don't see anything here, it is probably because the system has worked. The system has worked and you, you own the game pass, so it's gonna let you in. But if you want to make sure that it does completely work, you can also go and change the transparency that is set to, to 0 0.5 so that you can make sure it does work. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video if you really did enjoy, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.